These are instructions for making heavy duty industrial strength book covers. You will need to pause this video occasionally so the class can catch up with their paper folding. First we have to tear off some paper for the book covers. When tearing the paper off the roll, measure a length roughly four or five inches longer than the open book on each end. Here are the first time we use a book to measure the paper. But measurements are not exact, so mostly you can just eyeball it. Do not start folding on your own. Please wait for instructions. Before you start construction, you will need to tear off six pieces of masking tape, each about five inches long. We will use these six pieces of tape to reinforce the corners. Do not use the tape until you are told to. Since we want a double strength book cover, we start by folding the paper in half. Fold smooth edge to smooth edge. Make a nice sharp crease. Turn the paper so that the folded edge is facing you. Fold the edge facing you up about three inches, which is about four fingers wide for most people. Once again, make a nice tight crease. The exact distance of the fold is not critical, but three or four inches is about right. Now, we're going to use the book to measure how wide to make the cover. Wrap the paper around the back of the book. After you have made a crease to mark the width, slide the paper cover off the book and turn it around. Wrap the other end of the book cover around the back of the textbook. This gives us a book cover that is the correct width for the particular book. Now extend the crease for the entire length of the book cover to connect the two ends. We want a nice smooth crease again. We are finally ready to wrap the cover around the book. Make sure to line up the edges of the book cover. Lift up the cover of the textbook and wrap the paper cover around it. Close the textbook and make a sharp crease in the book cover.
Now open the book and tuck one side of the book into the pocket in the book cover. This can be a little tricky. You just have to be patient. Close this side of the book and turn the book over. Now, while holding the paper snugly around the book, slightly lift the cover of the book and fold the paper around it. Make sure you have a sharp crease. Open the book and carefully slide the cover of the book into the pocket in the book cover. Once again, don't rush this step. You don't want to tear the paper cover. You also don't want to overextend the textbook and break the back of the textbook, so just be a little careful here. When we get it tucked in, right up to the crease we made before, we can close the book and make a sharp crease on our last fold. We're almost done. You probably have some paper pooching out of the book cover. You're going to use your thumb to fix that. Use your thumb to push the extra paper back under the cover. Then smash the cover flat. Push hard. You'll need to do this four times, one for each corner. Now it's time for the reinforcements. Place a piece of masking tape across one corner of the book. Make sure it touches the corner. Lift the cover of the book and wrap each end of the tape around. Notice that the tape is not stuck to the book, only to the book cover. You will do this for all four corners, which leaves two pieces of masking tape left. Gently open the book in the middle and place it face down on the desk. To be a gentle process. Now the point of having the masking tape is to protect the book. So we have to protect the spine, which is frequently damaged when books are dropped. We wrap one of the remaining pieces of tape around the top edge of the book cover to protect the spine of the book. Gently turn the book around and wrap the remaining edge. The cover is done except for the labels. Make sure the book is right side up and then use a pen to label the spine and the front of the book.
you now have an industrial strength book cover that should last you the entire school year.